in Arizona, Carefree Arizona at the Savannah Wellness Resort and Spa. It is so beautiful here. I, I've never been to a place like this. The whole resort smells like a spa, okay? That's the first thing. <sighs> this room is crazy. Let me just insert the clip of the room. This is the front of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a room tour before the room gets any messier. So as soon as you come in, to the right is a wooden wardrobe with a little mini fridge in it. And on the other side, there is a mirror and a safe. Then you come into the entryway and there's a free water bottle for you with a paper giving you some information about the resort. Like how to book the spa or how to book your classes. And then you turn around and you have the bathroom. This is one of the most beautiful bathrooms I've ever seen. Please ignore my hair, y'all. I'm about to do it in a second. But here's the space for the toilet. They have the toilet paper all nice and folded like that. Then you have the glass shower with the rainfall shower head. This bathroom is seriously one of my favorites because it's doing the most without trying hard at all. You come out the bathroom and there's another wardrobe. You get a robe and then there's some extra bedding up there. Uh, they have another mirror here, just reminding me my hair's not done. And then you have the room. The room is very simple yet modern. Look at this beautiful lamp. The colors are so calming, and I love how the bed and the chairs are facing the outside. You can just step outside to just this the most beautiful view. The camera is not doing this justice, y'all. It is so beautiful, and it's so quiet. I've never been to a place like this before in my life, and I've never seen real cactus in my life this is just so amazing and there's seating out here for you let's go back inside i'm gonna give you guys just another look at the room like i said very simple not too much going on but i like that a lot because it encourages going outside but we're gonna walk on over to breakfast now and i'm gonna tell you guys more about the resort and how it works when we get there So for breakfast, I had the pitaya smoothie bowl. It was really good. Here's a quick look at the menu. It had dragon fruit in it. It was so good. I don't have much time to eat because I have to get to my first class in about 20 minutes. So the way the resort works is you sign up for a whole bunch of classes. Like Savannah the Resort is really a place for healing and self-discovery. So you go into these breath classes, these meditation classes, sound therapy, all this interesting type of stuff. And it's just really cool. I'm excited for my first class today. I'm walking to my first class. I really don't want to be late. It's breathing for life. One thing about this resort, it's so beautiful and it's so quiet, like so quiet. Like, listen. I'm so quiet. But I just had breakfast. So I forgot to go back to the intro clip. We're going to go back to that because y'all don't even know what's going on for real. Y'all don't even know what day we're on. It's day one. I got in last night. Don't count that as a day. That's that's day zero. I got in last night. I didn't even do anything. I really dropped the ball. Usually my first day, I always try to do the most. But I just got here and went straight to sleep. I mean, I looked around the room, but I don't know what. I was just in a mood last night. I just went straight to sleep. I mean, not even last night. I got here at like noon. And I was just in a mood. I think it was because my hair's not done. <laughs> it was definitely because my hair's not done. And I didn't have a good hair plan. I don't know why I brought braiding hair here and not just like a ponytail or something. I mean, it's fine still look cute but yeah i was definitely in a mood because of my hair the thing is i tried to do it last night but it just was not working with me it was fighting me i didn't know what to do the only thing i did last night was sign up for my classes for today i already took one the first class i went to was called breathing for life well actually first i woke up got ready took a shower the shower is so pretty and then i went to breakfast i had a smoothie bowl look at this I took some of it to go. It was really good. That menu was crazy though. There was, <laughs> I was looking for where the food was at. It was all really, really healthy food. But I'm just gonna embrace it. I was thinking about going somewhere else or ordering in to eat, but I'm like, let me just embrace the experience. If they only wanna, you know, have this type of food on the menu, let me just fully embrace the Savannah Wellness Resort and Spa Experience. The demographic here is older white women, and then there are some older white couples. 
I feel really out of place. Um, I went to Breathing for Life and it was okay. It was so weird because the lady was teaching us breathing techniques and everyone was like, wow, that felt really transformative. <laughs> like she was really like just breathing. I mean, she wasn't just like breathing and out of your nose. She was more like, touch your stomach and feel it, breathe in and out. And I'm thinking, I don't feel anything. Well, I guess I felt more relaxed, but I don't know. I think I need to do a little bit more classes because everyone else was like, yeah, I could really feel that. Yeah, I could. I'm like, I don't feel anything. <laughs> but I feel happy. I'm so happy to be here. Um, yeah. We need, this afternoon, my class ends at 5.15. My last class of the day is 5.15, so hopefully we're going to go do something, watch a sunset somewhere. Right now, I'm just about to chill. I'm going to explore the resort more. Y'all are going to come with me, but I'm going to explore the resort some more. Like, I have a map here. <clears throat> I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. The only issue that I'm having is I forgot my tripod, so I don't think I'm going to be able to take pictures, but the resort is so beautiful, and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Like, a beach pic is going to be a beach pic, you know what I'm saying? Like, a dinner pic is going to be a dinner pic, but you can't get a picture out. Like, these cactuses, cacti, these cacti are over a hundred years old they're so beautiful and so tall i need a picture with one but i don't have my tripod i don't know what i'm gonna do i brought one tripod but i brought the wrong one it's too short i i don't know what i'm gonna do we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make something work because i need pictures <laughs> After I explored the resort some more, I went to my next class. I have two more classes today. The first one, this one is about chakra alignment. And then the second one is sound therapy. And for both, you go into this room and there are mats and there are blankets. One for your head and one for your feet. And then you put that cylinder pillow under your knees. They turn the lights off and y'all this was such an experience. It was so moving. The sound therapy was moving too. I was in tears after. All right, good morning. It's, I don't know why this air thing, like, won't turn off, but it's 4 a.m. Um, I woke up to do my hair. I wasn't going to take any pictures on this trip, but it's just so beautiful, and this is my job. I, at least I want it to be. I can't come to a place like this and not take any pictures. The only issue is my hair wasn't done, so I woke up. I didn't bring a lot of, I didn't bring a lot of stuff. Okay, I have one comb, some combat gel, 
and I have braiding hair. So I was like, what can I do with those three things? Well, let me show you what I can do with those three things. I brought this tiny little tripod um so we're gonna have to do the best we can with it i'm always scared to take my own pictures but we're gonna suck it up and we're gonna do it all anyways like we always do it's okay to be scared but you just gotta you just gotta always go do it anyways they gave us a rope so i'm just gonna put that on right now and then all right <laughs> This is the menu for Seed. Seed is the on resort cafe. And these options are so amazing. They're so healthy. You can tell they genuinely care about your health and your healing journey at this resort. Okay, I'm picking up my smoothie before my first class for today. My first class for today is conscious breath work. Conscious breath work journey, I think. It's like breathing for life that I did yesterday, but it's something way different, they said. So I'm excited to see and tell you guys what it's like. I ordered the orange crush. It's so good. You know when you taste something and it's just so fresh and it's just real, no chemicals, no preservatives. I loved it. I took it with me to class. That class was crazy. That class was insane. I'm going to tell you guys about it later. Right now I'm going to go to my other class, which is a journaling class. This one got really, really, really deep really fast all right y'all i just finished my classes for today i took two classes one this morning was the conscious breathing class oh my gosh that one was so crazy i go into these classes thinking like this is silly like mm, i'm not gonna go into an altered state of consciousness around all these people like that's weird <laughs> and then they turn the lights off they covered me in a blanket I, like i showed you guys and played the music and all of a sudden i'm like whoa what's going on she was like yep don't be scared before we started she was like you might not be able to feel your hands or you might get scared and all that happened it was so weird then the next class i went to was journaling and that one got really really deep really fast and i'm really happy with Every single class that I've done in my entire experience here, I cannot wait to come back. This is something I will come back, I will bring someone here. Like, this is something I feel like everyone should experience. And I, I'm the youngest person here, period, by far. Everybody here is like 30 year plus years old. I haven't seen one young, well, I saw one mother and her daughter. But for the most part, everyone here is 30 years old or up. Most, most up, like 40 plus. So I'm just happy I'm here and getting like this experience so young because I feel like it's so needed. A lot of people are in so much pain and so much trauma and you just let it build and build and build and build. And next thing you know, you're 40, 50 years old, still in pain. And I don't want to be still in pain at that point. Um... But yeah, I already feel so much better. I don't know if I had actually told you guys the purpose of this trip. But the purpose of this trip was because I had just been feeling... I was just feeling... It's just been a lot going on here. And just... I've just been so stressed out about everything. And I'm still dealing with 
stuff from school and it's just a lot and i just felt myself spiraling and i'm like so confused because this was my dream i don't know how many times i need to say it on this channel but i literally have everything i ever wanted as a child and i just could not figure out why i'm so unhappy what the issue was and being here like i just feel so much better this is a savannah wellness resort and spa for those of you who want to come here it's so beautiful i highly recommend highly 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 recommend this place wish me luck we're gonna try to go get a picture i haven't posted on instagram in a while um i have a bunch of photos i just i take fire pictures and just never post them but we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to break that habit i'm going to post these pictures because i'm going through all this trouble my hair looks so cute too so i will see you guys outside sitting here watching the sunset go down and I had a friend come join me yeah I made a friend on the trip I know you guys thought I wasn't gonna make any friends but I did isn't he so cute look at him and we're just watching the sunset go down together <laughs> just me and Mr. Bunny Yo, I'm literally crying taking this video because I'm so happy to have been here. It was that amazing. It was that much of an experience. I'm so happy I saved up to come here. You might think this trip is sponsored, but it is not. This is the most peaceful place. The sounds at night are so calming. A lot of us just sleep with the little slide doors open because it just sounds so beautiful and it's just so relaxing. It helps you go to sleep at night. I have to head in though because I haven't packed a thing and I have to wake up super early in the morning because we're going hot air ballooning in the morning i'm so excited i've always wanted to go on a hot air balloon and we're doing it tomorrow they're picking me up crazy early i think at like five so we gotta go Good morning, it's 4.30 right now, a.m. The hot air balloon company came to pick me up. It's just me and him in the van right now. We have to go pick the rest of the people up at the airport, and then we're gonna head to the hot air balloon place. The drive wasn't too long. It was about 45 minutes to get from Savannah to the airport, then from the airport to the hot air balloon. The hot air balloon place was really beautiful. The sun's about to rise. This was a cute idea I'm doing, but I'm actually getting kind of nervous. Right now it is 6 a.m. I woke up so early at like 3.30 because I had to pack. Look, look where I was picked up by the hot air balloon people. Y'all look. I don't know how to zoom. I guess you can't zoom on your front camera, but you see a little hot air balloon right there and they're setting up ours right now and um yeah it was like an hour drive not an hour maybe like 30 minutes to pick up the other people and then 20 minutes here i'm so nervous
Okay, so my group is struggling right now. I don't know what's going on, but they don't know how to inflate the balloon or they're just struggling to do it. They know how to do it, but some some they're struggling and it's making me even more nervous because <laughs> like, I was already nervous and now the fact they're struggling is making me more nervous because everyone else is up. We finally got it together though. It was really cool to see how these actually get up. They put air in it first and then when it's full of air, then they'll put the fire, which raises it actually uh sideways up or right side up i'm literally about to be on that one movie where you know that one movie where the old man is in the house and then they're the balloons and they that's what i'm gonna feel like even though that wasn't a hot air balloon that's still how i'm gonna envision myself up it was called up i love that movie There you go. Okay? That's the position to take for landing. We're going to tell you to land. Then we're going to land, take the position, do exactly that. Okay? You can relax now. So the rest of the explanation is that this is the front of the balloon. We're landing in the direction of the front of the balloon. So there's two kinds of landings. Under five miles an hour and over five miles an hour. Remember? Yeah, go ahead and let it go. Okay. Let the line out. What? That's crazy. Man, that is slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't even feel like we were moving. I didn't realize we had left the ground until I looked down. It was so smooth. I swear, it's usually a lot faster. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm on? Mm -hmm.
right? So we landed, got out of the balloon. We landed low-key in the middle of nowhere. We were supposed to be about two or three miles on the other side of this road, but apparently you can't steer in a hot air balloon, so we were just going wherever the wind took us. But the pilot just seemed so chill. I love the hot air balloon ride. It was so peaceful. After a little bit, though, I started getting a little bit sad because everybody was broken off into their groups of people that they came with. And I didn't come with anyone, so I was feeling a little bit lonely. I really wish I had someone to come with me. But then I got really happy because <laughs> they set out a table and set out a meal for us. And I got so happy. I was just happy at that point because I hadn't eaten all morning. I came, I woke up at 3 to pack and then I had to come straight here. So I was starving. They had mimosas for us. They had sparkling wine. They were just so generous. I love this place. I'm going to tag the expedition uh, excursion. I'm going to tag the excursion in the description box. But they had sparkling wine for those of us who don't drink. So I didn't feel left out. While we ate, the pilot told us the history of hot air balloons. Like when the first one was made and how it evolved over time. It was a really funny story. Then we had a toast. The pilot is so funny. <laughs> he came around and toasted each and every one of us the quiche was pretty good i've never had quiche before and then they gave us a little certificate to say that we did it i was so excited i love this but that concludes the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like this video so more people can come to the resort and go on this amazing journey and subscribe so you can come with me on my future adventures and all my vlogs and stuff i will see you guys in the next video